getting closer and closer to the 90th Academy Awards as we continue to look at the nine nominees for Best Picture. ABC Columbia's Matt Perrin takes us back to the 1950s with a look at Phantom Thread. Welcome to day two of the Oscars overview. That's right, we're counting down all of the Best Picture nominees leading up to the 2018 Oscars airing right here on ABC Columbia next Sunday. Our second nominee is a film I just reviewed for you a couple of weeks ago and it's still fresh in my mind. So sit back and allow me to familiarize you with the Phantom Thread. Our film begins in 1950s London. Reynolds Woodcock, portrayed by Daniel Day-Lewis, is an eccentric dressmaker for everybody who is anybody. From actresses to dames to royalty, he makes all their dresses for all their functions and his reputation is widespread. He's a lifelong bachelor who uses women for inspiration. Then he meets Alma, played by Vicky Creeps. She's a strong-willed woman whom he immediately begins to fancy. After a dinner, he begins to use her as a model, making dresses for her and using her in his fashion shows. As their relationship grows, Reynolds finds his world turning upside down. Reynolds is quirky, to say the least. He has rules that he doesn't like broken and he feels that he may be cursed in love. As a result, he becomes withdrawn into a himself and although he has unbridled feelings for Alma he is not about to let them be known he has to keep himself from being hurt and in order to do that he refuses to engage her on any sort of emotional level needless to say this creates a rift with her that with her strong-willed personality she's determined to try to overcome as the movie progresses we see the two constantly butting heads but at the same time becoming more enamored with each other so we see our two main characters hit an impasse with Alma refusing to let herself be pushed away and Reynolds trying to figure out how to do his work and keep his reputation while still trying to figure out his own feelings with Alma. Suddenly the movie takes an interesting turn that it's safe to say no one in the audience will see coming. All right, right away I'm going to come out and say that this is my least favorite of the nine nominees. The movie starts at a crawl and although it gains some momentum, it never reaches a pace that makes you strap in. The film was nominated for Best Picture, but it seems more like a conglomeration of other Oscar category nominees. For example, Daniel Day-Lewis is an amazing actor and has a very strong performance, but I don't think the material itself was there for us to see everything he is capable of. Likewise, Leslie Manville, playing his sister, is a great supporting actress. She does an amazing job playing a subtly strong woman, essential to the plot while perfectly blending into the background. Then there's the classic score that's constantly playing in the background seemingly during every scene of the film. Individually, each of these elements could receive a nomination, but when they're put together, in my opinion, the movie seems to fall a little flat. That's why I believe that the statue will elude this film. That still doesn't mean you should skip it, though, being that it is the last performance of Daniel Day-Lewis. Unfortunately for him, he's up against Gary Oldman in Darkest Hour, but more on that next week. This has been your Oscars overview. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for the next nominee. I'm sure you'll have a hankering for it. I'll explain tomorrow. Back to you. <laughs> sure you have a hankering for it? There's nothing like a hankering for a good film. Thank you, Matt. That's for sure. <laughs> 82 degrees was the high yesterday, well above the average, and darn near setting a record. We may just get one done this week, that's for sure. In fact, today, 61 and 8, 81 by 4 o'clock. When it's all said and done, we have morning fog to watch out for, but afternoon sun will make it all worthwhile. And I got a hankering for that. <laughs>